Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at the junkyard and I'm going to be showing you this 2006 Ford Escape. For 1299 it has 222,000 kilometers on it. Actually looks to be in fairly decent shape. Has quad beam headlights with fog lights in the bumper. We'll get it running. And we'll see the inside of it and the outside. I believe this is front wheel drive. I don't think it's four wheel. Turn that down, turn that off. Put down the driver window and pop the hood. <clears throat> so we'll take a look under the hood first. we've got a 3 liter V6 which sounds like it has a tick from an exhaust leak. Um, I don't know how big that is to fix but it sounds like it's got a slight exhaust leak. And this is the dual overhead cam Duratec V6. I think this is a 3 valve per cylinder. Yeah. Or the 32 valve engine. Runs real sweet though. And if it isn't four wheel drive, it actually gets decent fuel mileage too. Quite like the styling of these escapes. Much better than the new ones that are all car like. This is much more of an SUV look. A little bit of rust forming right there, but not too bad yet. But the back is uh, actually, that sho shock tower is pretty good still. Nice. Shock towers are the weakest point in this one. This one looks like it's not too bad. V6, not all wheel drive, so this should be actually pretty decent on fuel. I don't know. I don't know if I unlocked it. Has a roof rack on it as well. The body overall is in good shape got new rear tires it looks like sorry there's not much room in the round in this one so I can't really get up too close to too far away from it to get it fully in the shot but yeah front tires are good too nice and they're on aluminum wheels too so 1299 you have a 200 bucks in aluminum wheels at least right there And we'll take a look at the inside now. So yeah, it has a half a tank of gas, 222,000 kilometers on it. And if your fog lights over here, your power mirrors, power windows, power locks, as well as your manual lock right there. Rear view mirror, of course. And you have a mirror which is not lit, but it's a mirror, rear defrost, your 6 CD radio, comes with a dash disc for a GPS system right there. So very simple climate controls in this one which I really do like. Your e-brake is right here, two cup holders, and a deep center console right there. Kind of a small glove box but it works. Here is the booklet for the car with the manual in it because Ford is silly in that way and doesn't put their labeling on the fuse box. They make you go to the manual for it. <laughs> I don't like that option personally, but I'm not the engineer. But yeah, we'll take a look in the back seat now. And, well the back seat's actually in pretty decent shape. Sort of a Leatherette insert here, power windows, your door handle there, and relatively clean back seat. Pull this down and, oh, you have a cargo cover in this one too. Nice. It's not in bad shape back here though. Map pockets in the back of each door. A little bit of rust right there, but that's really not that bad. Covers up as soon as you shut the door.
Now that'll open. Hatch is sort of crusty on this side, but nothing that wouldn't pass the safety. A little bit of rust in there, but it's not really too, too bad yet. Your jack is right there, and I believe your spare tire is underneath this vehicle on the very bottom side. Open up the glass. I guess I just didn't have it unlocked. I do like that the glass is openable. That's a really nice option to have. Opens and shuts. And the hinges on the glass are still good too, which is another issue these have, but this one does not have it, which is awesome. <clears throat> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.